can see, I am in the truck, not the boat. Got a good call. Joey Antonelli says, you gotta get up here. We're filling buckets with shrimp. I said, what? No way. These are called white shrimp and they got super long antennas. Really good to eat. I mean, I think all shrimp are good to eat. Anyways, really cool. These shrimp are hanging around the area. I got my big cast in the, in the back of the truck. I got my 14 footer. We're gonna see how well this thing does on these shrimp because they're holding on the bottom in deep water. And when you find the area where they're hanging, you throw the cast net. Let it sink all the way to the bottom, pull it up, just like you would with anything else with the cast net. I got my magic net, my boy Tim Wade made me. And we might have to do a little, uh, little customizing on the net to fit the shrimp to make it work right, which I'll show you. I'll show you a little later on. Yeah, I mean, this should be really cool. This is a new thing for me. It's not something I, I get to do very often. I know up in North Florida they do this more. I've done the you know dip netting for them at night in the lights. I've, I've pulled nets for them, but this cast netting is kind of a new thing. You know, I've, I've accidentally caught shrimp in my net before while throwing, you know, targeting pinfish or pig fish or pilchards on the flats. You know, you mix in get accidental shrimp, you know, bycatch. But this is we're targeting shrimp and we're targeting eating shrimp. I'm not expecting any little baby guys. So let's see what we got. Major feeding frenzy. Porpoises. Tuna. Yeah, could be the the river yellowfin tunas. Bird to dive in. Target them. Look at all the dirt they stirred up. Dirty spot right here. Probably a ball. The red fence. That's what I'm looking for. I haven't seen. Porpoises are going crazy. All right, so to give you an idea of what we did today, when we threw the net, a lot of the shrimp were coming out of the top here, because this is a big hole, as you can see. And so we just kind of zip tied down it to shorten the hole and keep them from coming out of it a little more than they were. Jay likes playing games. He tried to throw me out of the boat. But yeah. So check that out. It's just kind of, I don't know, a little makeshift thing that we figured out. It just helps. So I've heard from a lot of people that you gotta chum up these shrimp. And they're a little scattered right now. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna tie some fishing line and a little bobber to the top of this cat food. And we're gonna crack it open just enough so that when it hits the bottom, a little crack maybe a little more maybe a little more it's got to get open oh now you really cracked it there you go maybe Just... maybe like that yeah Just open it yeah there you go it's got to get open so that we get some scent flowing you know there you go i think that'll be good open that thing yeah there you go perfect 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 all right let's find a good spot yeah now we'll kind of drive around until we mark a little bit and then drop it in them then we'll give it a little bit to brew and hopefully this big giant boat doesn't come around over. <laughs> so I'm throwing the net right now. I've already done quite a few throws. And as you can see, I'm catching giants. These things are nice ones. I mean, we're getting really solid shrimp in these throws. For me, this is something that just is just, you know, down where I'm from doesn't happen. But I mean, as you can see, these things are, these are solid eight, nine inch shrimp, some of them. So, pretty cool stuff. I like the color on the tails. Get the light on that. Pretty cool stuff catching these guys in the cast net. Look at these marks. All right, we just deployed the booby. We just deployed the cat food. Oh, we're marking them here too. Do a mark. Go through, do a throw. Do a throw. Oh, oh, oh. Do a throw. Do a throw. Right. So let's hey, drive rack over it. Just give it one minute. Just give it a couple minutes. How are we looking? I think it's time to throw on the bobber. 
Okay, let's do it. Well, that's perfect because that's where it's sitting. It's actually falling right behind it, actually, where the current is. Yeah, goes. where it's taking all that stuff. That's what I was saying, like where the can is. That's a little one? One just came flying out. Let's see, was this the mother load? Oh, I saw one. Oh man, there goes another. Gosh, they're sneaking out. Oh, that's what we're looking for. I can see him in there. See him. Oh yeah, that's a nice throw, Matt. Dump him up front. That is a good throw there. What? That's the best throw ever. Oh my god. Matt, you just got like 30 shrimp in a throw. Dude, that's the craziest throw. That was one throw, dude. One throw. Let's see what he got in here. Look at the size of that thing. Dude, that was one throw. One throw of shrimp right there. Nice. Letting it sink down to get these things. This is what we're after. No, I'm just kidding. We're after these delicious little critters. How's it looking, Maddie? Yeah, boy. That's how you know you got them. Oh, yeah. That's like another Look at that meat. Oh, my God. <laughs> Dump them in there. All the way up here. There you go. Matt only got a couple that time, but it's loading up, it's starting to add up, and we got a nice live well full to go fishing with. Yeah, not too many, but still 10 or so. They're kicking in there, that's for sure. Tucking it like this because that way it pulls the lead not straight off the bottom, it kind of drags it along the bottom. Oh, oh there goes one. one right there. So when you tuck your net slowly, it keeps it from coming all the way off the bottom. I got a few. It wasn't a crazy throw. He's got some. That's pretty good. That's pretty good, pretty good. Pretty shrimpy. Oh yeah, it's pretty skimpy. I can see it right behind us. Look at these things. Guys, Matt got an exotic. We're gonna put this thing down and see what we can catch on it. Whoa! Oh gosh. Big throw? Yeah. Good one. Good one. Lots of meat. There we go, there we go. Eating good. Eating good. Oh my God, Matt crushed him. Got a, a whiting? 
couple hardhead croakers. Oh my god, that had to be 30 trout. I mean 30 uh shrimp. This is what I care about right here. We'll even save these little guys. You got two whiting. It's only one. Oh, that's, I didn't realize that little one was a hard head. Oh, it's shrimp though. <laughs> Feel the cooler. <laughs> Last throw. We hit them pretty good today. I did some really good throws. I'm getting tired. I'm getting tired. You're getting tired from watching. <laughs> All right, this will be the last pull. We got a live wool full. That cooler's just about topped off. Got oh one. God. They're fighting you? Oh. You can actually make Zach, feel them make pulling. Zach proud. I can feel them pulling in the net. There's so many. We got to get real hard and dip that corner under. <laughs> I'm out of breath. Throwing this thing 150 times? Or... No. 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 12. See a couple in there. We got scraps. We, got all we could keep doing it, but I mean, we got enough. We got enough to eat. We got enough to go fishing. We got enough to feed the family. Oh. Does Eric eat these things? I'm surprised he's not up here. He's got to come work if he wants. I ain't catching shrimp for nobody but himself. Throw the meat. What do you got to say, Matt? Cast net shrimp. This is how it's done. So we're finishing up now. We got our shrimp harvest. Joey's washing down the boat. And we did pretty good. We got a whole cooler full of these nice big shrimp. I can't wait to cook these guys up. They're going to be delicious. And I'll show you how I clean them and how I cook them in a little bit here. Oh, that's a little shrimpy shrimp. He goes home. So I got my share. And this is Joey's share. My share is in the back of the truck. We still have all this shrimp. That's crazy. That's just crazy. When I get home, I'll show you guys how I clean them and pretty much how I cook them. You know, you pop their heads and you get the, uh, I guess you call it a poop line out. Vein, way Vein. whatever. And then peel them, pop them, done. I'm going to show you guys how to clean these guys, which is kind of interesting. Um, see, right in here is where all the... Uh, the brain matter and all is and then right down the center is where this big vein is that kind of stores their poop and you want to get that out of them because you don't really want to be eating the waste so I'm going to show you how to do that how to peel them out pretty quickly this is the way I do it there's definitely other ways better ways I'm sure and if you think you know a better way let me know leave a comment so with these guys what you want to do is just kind of hold them on their back you kind of break it right where the legs start and you just kind of break those legs away and you give it a little bit of a twist through then when you pull it away you'll notice this guy right here See that little line in there it almost looks like a uh, like another antenna on the inside that's the poop line you can grab that guy just kind of give it a pull and it'll come right out like that then you got that and this guy's clear he's pretty clean so there's one now what I like to do is I'll take just two shells boom one two these are two sections of shell right there and then you squeeze the tail when you squeeze the tail the whole thing comes out just like that now you got a perfectly clean nice beautiful shrimp that's ready to eat and then after that all I'll do is I'll just right down the right down the middle just kind of not too deep and you butterfly it open give it a quick wash just to make sure there's nothing left in it and that thing is ready to eat that is the way you want it so that was my jumbo shrimp video with Joey Antonelli I hope you enjoyed watching now you know how to clean them how to catch them now go find them